Hello, good morning once again, and welcome to Dr. Dennis Latuno. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about hypertension, and before I start my blog, I want to tell you a corny dad joke, and here it is. What is the favorite song of a bank robber? Answer is Anis tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll rob you tomorrow. That's okay. It's just a joke. <laughs> anyway, we'll start with hypertension. Uh, new criteria for hypertension was established by the American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association 2017 <coughs> and they make it stage 1 and stage 2. Stage 1 is systolic blood pressure of 130 to 139 and a diastolic blood pressure of 80 to 89 and that is stage 1. Stage 2 is uh, equal or greater of 140 systolic and diastolic of 90 and there's a entity also of hypertension called white coat hypertension wherein the patient's uh, blood pressure is elevated whenever he or she visits a doctor's clinic but when he or she goes back home uh, blood pressure is normal. And number two, symptoms of hypertension. Most of the hypertensive patients initially are asymptomatic, but as the time goes on, they develop headache, nausea, chest pain, shortness of breath, and dizziness, especially if <coughs> their blood pressure really goes up. Now, the treatment for hypertension, there are about two, three, like seven class of medication. I'm gonna go over them, but I'm not able to give their mechanism of action, their dosage, and majority of the side effect. We'll just go through them. Uh, number one is the beta blockers. These are the atenolol, bisoprolol, metoprolol. So if you hear the word olol, <laughs> the last one, the, those are beta blockers. Uh, their major side effects are severe bradycardia, less, heart rate of less than 60, sometimes fatigue and dizziness. <clears throat> and number two, ACE inhibitor are the lisinopril, benazapril, captopril, fusinopril. So the pril, if you hear the word pril, they're the ACE inhibitor. Uh, usually they're good for patients who are diabetic to prevent proteinuria and also they're used as initial treatment also for congestive heart failure together with a beta blocker and sometimes a diuretic. Uh, common side effects of uh, ACE inhibitor, dry cough, elevated uh, potassium and sometimes angioedema, which is uh, swelling of the lip and tongue. And this uh, can be a life-threatening side effect if uh, not recognized right away. And the number three class of uh, hypertensive medication are the ARB, which are the Losartan, Olmesartran, Balsaltran, so if you hear the word last sartan, sartan, that's uh, ARB. Uh, usually, it's a good alternative for ACE inhibitor if uh, patient develop uh, major side effects from ACE. And then there's a study uh, right now ongoing whether it's a good practice to combine ACE inhibitor with ARB. Uh, so far they have 
not made any conclusion yet, but uh, of note that there's a higher risk of uh, kidney failure if you, or kidney impairment if you combine the two. Number four class are the calcium channel blockers. These are the diltiazem, verapamil, amlodipine, pilodipine, nicardipine. And common side effect of these are uh, ankle edema, especially the amlodipine. <clears throat> diltiazem is, we use it for, also for, to control the rate on a patient with uh, atrial fibrillation. And then the centrally acting medication is also known as central alpha agonist are the clonidine and methyl dopa. Uh, side effect of this one are bradycardia. And number six are the diuretics, uh, hydrochlorothiazide, Lasix, Bumix. Uh, these are good in combination with ACE inhibitor. Uh, also, we use them, of course, in conjunction to treat congestive heart failure. And uh, common side effects of this one, it lowers your potassium, sodium. So if you're going to start uh, diuretics, you have to also give a potassium supplement to the patient. <coughs> And number seven are the other vasodilators are hydralazine, minoxidil, and then nitroglycerins, uh, the nitroprusside. Hydralazine, uh, common side effect is tachycardia. Minoxidil is edema and also tachycardia. And when using a nitroglycerin, you must remember uh, Viagra, Cialis are all contraindicated because it can cause severe hypotension, meaning your blood pressure drops. Now, the complication of uh, long-term uncontrolled hypertension or it can cause a heart attack, a stroke, heart failure, kidney failure, and sometimes <coughs> co cognitive decline. So it's really imperative that uh, patients should be aware to control uh, his or her blood pressure adequately to prevent these complications. All right, and that's it for now. And in Tagalog, ang bagong criteria Hindi naman bago kasi 2017 inestablished ng American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association. May stage 1 for hypertension is uh, ang first number, tinatawag na systolic uh, blood pressure na 130 to 139 and diastolic of 80 to 89. Stage 2. Pag uh, greater, equal or greater than 140 systolic or diastolic na 90. <coughs> ang symptom ng mataas na blood pressure ay masakit ang ulo, nasusok ka, minsan sumasakit ng dindid, nahirapan numinga or nahihilo. At minention ko earlier yung mga class ng mga Blood pressure medication, ang uh, unang beta blockers. So pag may narinig kayong atenolol, metoprolol, lahat na may lol sa huli, uh, beta blocker yan. Ang major side effect is uh, ini-slow down yung heart rate nyo. And number two, yung ACE inhibitor, yung mga lysinopril, benazapril, captopril. Pag may nakita kayong pril, pril, yan, ACE inhibitor yan. Tapos, uh, usually, ini start namin to, especially kung diabetic yung pasyente. At isa to sa <coughs> kasama sa paggamot sa may heart failure. Ang may common side effect nito is dry cough. Nakatulad ko. No, ayaw ko, wala naman akong <laughs> high blood pressure. 
mataas ang potassium, sometimes namamaga yung lips or yung tongue, yung tawag na angioedema. Tapos yung pangatlo, ARB, yung mga losartan, olmisartran, balsaltran. So pag may nakit, rinig kayong sartan, sartan, ARB yan. And number four, calcium channel blockers, ang diltiazem, verapamil, yung mga amlodipine, pilodipine, nicardipine. And pang lima, yung centrally acting medication, clonidine, methyl dopa. Pang anim, ang mga diuretics, kagaya ng hydrochlorothiazide or Lasix or Bumix. Uh, pag umiinom kayo ng mga diuretics, kailangan nyo ng potassium supplement kasi binabagsak nito ang potassium, minsan yung sodium. And miscellaneous number 7, mga vasodilators, hydralazine, minoxidil, and mga nitroglycerins. Tandaan nyo, nitroglycerins are, hindi nyo pwedeng pagsamayan ng Viagra or Cialis with nitroglycerin kasi it can cause, eh, babagsak yung you know, blood pressure nyo. Tapos ang long-term complication na hindi nakokontrol ng blood pressure ay heart attack, stroke, heart failure, kidney failure, tsaka minsan early, uh, parang early dementia. So, kailangan makontrol talaga yung blood pressure to prevent itong mga komplikasyon na to. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy and learn from my vlog on hypertension. See you later next time. Um... Uh, and God bless.